South Africa, my name is Ross Turner, aka Mr. Turner, and this is a channel where I help you guys to grow your wealth. If you're a student, click that thumbs up. If you're looking to make some money, click that thumbs up. If you're just here because you saw this video, please comment down below and tell me how I'm doing and yeah. For the GI notes, data is a struggle. Let's just dive into today's topic, which is how to make a thousand rand a day. Now, before we do that, uh, please have a look at my previous videos how to make five thousand a month, etc. Uh, etc. Et uh, it will be popped up here or there, wherever it is. And um, so, a thousand a day might be very daunting to say, Oh my word. I'm not even making 10 rand a day. How do you expect me to make a thousand a day? Let's put it this way. If you have, for example, that uh, boxing bag there is worth 550 rand at Mr. Price or 400 rand brand new at game and you're not using this, so it's a used one. That's what you gotta do if you're not using it and it's just lying around and it's used. You sell it for 200 rand or you go ahead and you sell it for 350 you know depending on the quality depending on how buggered up it is basically what I'm saying is look around your house look around your environment see what's sellable okay. once you've accumulated amount of goods which you think come to a thousand rand I was lucky enough and I had a gun safe that was worth three thousand rand brand new so I sold it for two thousand rand and I sold it within six hours. Okay, now that that's amazing. Like from taking the photo to putting it on this one platform and selling it, it took about four to six hours to make two grand. Anyway, that's for another video. Please remind me in the comment section down below how to make 2,000 Rand within four hours. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. I made much more than that in the day, but Let's just go back to this video. So I got a little bit distracted there, but do you see what I'm saying? It's selling. Find something that you see in your house that you think is worth a thousand rand and you sell it where on Facebook. Now you're thinking, Ross, okay, I can probably do that for one time, but how do you expect me to sell? I'm gonna end up selling my, all the contents in my house. Don't worry, all you need to do is make that one 1,000 Rand, okay? All you need to do is make that one 1,000 Rand. So, once you have that 1,000 Rand, you're going to go to a cheap supplier, okay? You're gonna look, what, first of all, you're gonna ask yourself, what do you like? Or, what do you think your market likes? And have you observed your environment? I talk about this in another video. You need to observe your environment. Who are the people in your community? Are they more men or, or more women? Who's the breadwinner of the house? Is it just a single parented household? You need to take all of these factors into consideration when purchasing your first amount of stock to sell. Because you can't just say, okay, I'm gonna uh, go and buy dresses. Meanwhile, there are no women in your area, okay? Or, okay, I'm gonna go and buy uh, old PlayStation 2s. Meanwhile, there are no kids in your area, okay? So, that's what you have to do. Scan your environment, write it down, even do a survey, you know? Or, just see what people are buying. Go to town. I live in Durban, so if you go to town, you have a look around, okay, what, wh which shop is the busiest? Uh, when are the sales happening? Uh, what, what, who, when, how, all of that. All those questions, who, when, how, what, why. Remember that, remember being taught that, that you need to, I can't stress this enough. So, once you've done that, and once you've got your market research, you buy, for example, wallet, 10 wallets. And let's say you've bought them for 100 Rand, you are now going to sell them for 150 Rand. Or 
you can be even you can have less risk if you like if you don't want to go full into it and spend that full 1000 rand what you're going to do is buy wallets for 100 rand but buy five keep 500 and then you're going to sell it for 150 okay now once you've accumulated that amount you take your profits you put it aside you take your 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 cost that you spent and you add it back to that 500 that's left over now you have thousand whoa plus profits now you've made 50 times five that's 250 rand if i'm not mistaken yeah 250 rand profit imagine so now what do you do now okay so now you take a little bit of that money that you've had saved from the thousand rand plus the 250 you go and you see okay maybe the wallets didn't sell as fast but there's a market for it or you thought oh, no i'm never going to sell wallets again it was a mission trying to sell it great you're not going to do that you're going to move on to the next product okay what's going to make me money hmm wallets didn't work out but maybe belts men's belts is there a school nearby okay let me go and see let me go to a supply see if i can make a deal with them go straight up to a supply and then this is the best part you talk as if you have a company why are you talking as if you a single owned person with your small voice over here hi sir please can i have five bucks they're gonna look at you and be like okay i'm gonna sell it to this little kid for extra money no you're gonna go there hi sir my name is the I own this company and we sell belts to stu uh, school to uh, <laughs> English <laughs> to school kids um, uh, our previous supplier just moved uh, to another country or whatever blah, 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 blah. and <laughs> you know just just make your your story you're not lying because you are selling but you got to make yourself look like a company okay Honestly, treat your suppliers with the most respect that you have I'm not saying lie to them blatantly because suppliers are knowledgeable people. They will know if you're bluffing or not. Anyway, diverging there. I will bring that up in the next video. So, you tell the supplier you want 10 bucks for, let's say he sells them for 75. You say, I want 10 bucks for 70 rand. Okay. Or 10 bucks for 60 rand depending on how well you build a relationship with the supplier will determine how well you can get your cost down. The less cost you have on an item, the more profits you have when you're selling it. I hope that I am teaching you some good things. To recap the whole thing, sell something that you don't use in your house, accumulate a thousand rand, then once you've got that, use that thousand rand to buy and sell goods if you want to know where to sell goods fast and how to sell goods within a day fast then please let me know in the comment section down below and i will provide you with the next new fresh video without further ado thank you for staying here thank you for listening i am open to criticism and i will be bringing more and more videos to this youtube channel if you want to follow me on Instagram, please be sure to check out at Mr. Turner underscore and you can even DM me and I'll start talking. <laughs> Let's start this network. Let's grow each other. And remember, stay shining, keep smiling, even on a rainy day.